Okay, now let's start our application building, our authentication si system building. The first thing you need to do is to generate a new project where I have, I have some network issues, so I prefer generate the project before the tutorial start. And I have already generating the project and you need to install some library for make, for use in the project. We will use Axios for call for hours request. So you need to install Axios. You need you need just to go to your console and type npm install and you say Axios, and it will install Axios in your current project. The next thing to install is React Router DOM. So you can go on React Router DOM documentation and take the node package link to install it in your project in the project. The last thing to install is React Toastify for have notification library. So for this, you need just to go to Google and type React Toastify, and you will go on this GitHub page. The link is available in the description, and on the GitHub page you will see this is all of the notification. You just need to copy this npm install dash dash c React Toastify inside your project and just generate it and after this you need just to type npm install if you haven't done it here and all will be perfect okay okay now let's speak about our folder structure here in my case i have already some page that contains static static data example in the app.js i have just one div with the class name of add and nothing inside okay now go in the source folder and create a new folder to, folder that you will call helpers and inside this helpers create a new file that you will call app out context i prefer out context and give an extension of gs if you use gs or gs if you your project is build with gs x okay and now the first thing to do is to create a context and you create a context you import create context from react if this is done we need we will just export some constant one constant for manage our authentication we call it out concept out context so it don't need to have the same name that the field you can give another name here is not a is not a problem and this one will be equal to this create context that we import from react okay now let's save this the first thing the helper are be done uh is it's raining oh. maybe i need to stop the tutorial now let me check if we, if the mic is recording well hmm. Hmm. i think we can continue okay so let's say that we want to continue and this will contain the authentication contest and we need to wrap all of our application with this contest because it's with this that we will know if the user is logged or not logged so first thing on the app.js you need to import this context okay you just need to make import old contest and need to import this from the helper folder that we create and the next thing to do is to write this with the compared application with this old contest so let me copy this and op open the old the old context here Let's say it's old context and here is provider. And inside let's put the, the class name on app. Okay, here we here we will have our application and here we have the wrapper for our application and we need to give some value to all of the children to permit them to know if the user are logged or not. Okay. So now let's continue and import some React hook because we will, we will use some hook. And we use, I will use, use state hook. Maybe use effect. 
Now let's say we don't need use effect now. Now let's create some variable to know if a user are logged or not. And this one will be for check if a user are logged and it will say you it will be view state and by default the user are not authenticated so for it's for this reason that is false and let's create a new another variable to get the logged user information and here the name of variable will be user and the method will be set user and it will be set you say set it will use used it and with the default value will be undefined okay and now we want to send this value to all of the children that are available between this old contest provider how we can make something like this is very simple on the open bracket of old contest we need just to say we have some value and let's say the value will be some object format and the first value value to send is a user because all of the children can have access to the logged users information and we want to send to the set users method too but before sending this two we need to send the logit because it will permit to check if a user is logged or not and the set logit method that will update this logit value so when we we, <coughs> we write thing like this it means that all of the children that are available here between this old contest have access to this value to this value that's happy here okay and in our application first thing we need to just return something we can return some value but i prefer to return this navigation because i have created an application navigation it inside this page you create a page folder and inside create a navigation folder and by default this navigation folder is very is empty and we will use it for for create all of the road that our application needs so here inside this app let's say you want to call navigation okay the navigation have been called now let's go back to navigation and just let me delete all of this and let's let's say if you want to leave this because i i already told you to install react rotor dome in in the project okay and here we need to provide some routes some routes for our application all of the route that our application will use okay and this the first thing we have is empty div we can delete this empty div because we will use the route component of react router and this route comes from react router dom we, we import it hit air okay 